Hey guys, Kokutan Luffy here. Um, so today I'm bringing you Mighty Number no. Nine. So um, this is the better version of the game. If you're not familiar with this game, it's actually created by um, <sighs> KG Inafune, I believe, if I'm pronouncing his his name correctly. Uh, KG Inafune is mostly known for uh, being kind of somewhat the creator of Mega Man. Uh, he kind of he kind of raised and grew Mega Man. He didn't create Mega Man, but uh, he created the uh, Mega Man Zero series. He created uh, Dead Rising. He's, he, I think he also uh, worked on Lost Planet, if he was not the original creator. I don't know, but he's done a lot of stuff. Um, I'm a fan of his work. Uh, he used to be part of Capcom. He's not a part of Capcom anymore. But anyway, that's a long story. Um, so he's part of a new company now uh, called Concept and they are designing basically a spiritual successor to the Mega Man series. So um, I did play this game a little bit. I was streaming it on my Twitch TV channel and I decided to go ahead and make a, a better quality video for my YouTube channel. So uh, let's hop in. Um, so basically this is telling you the operation of the game you have uh, a for you you can select I guess different forms now none of that is actually in the better right now so the only thing you can really worry about or the only thing we're really worried about right now is the dash button the attack button jump button and uh, your mobility um, so I'm using an Xbox controller um, works best for me it looks like you can use keyboards and uh, other controllers as well so uh, this is just basically breaking down, you know, you attack your enemy and basically unlike the original Mega Man games or um, other games of this kind of genre, you don't just shoot your enemy until they explode or, you know, or die or whatever. Uh, basically what you do is you, um, you destabilize enemies. So this is basically saying that enemies will become unstable after taking a certain amount of damage. And basically what you do is once you destabilize an enemy, you dash through them and you pretty much absorb a, an energy called uh, Zell. So that's basically what you do. Um, now, this this game is also being developed, I believe, by any or NT Creates. They're the same people who pretty much did all the Mega Man Zero games and they also did uh, Azure Striker Zero or Azure Striker Gunvolt. <laughs> it's another game came uh, came out recently on the 3DS. It's very similar to uh, Mega Man Zero and you know these kinds of games. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it, and uh, you guys will kind of see as we go along. Uh, basically, boss battles work the same way. Uh, you destabilize the boss. He turns a specific color. You dash through him, and that takes a significant amount of damage to like the boss. And you keep doing that until you basically defeat the boss. So this beta, we kind of get an idea of what you know some of the other levels that will be in the in the game based off uh you know the titles. But there's only one available to uh, us right now. Uh, others will be on the way for um, you know the people who have access to the beta. So uh, let's hop into it. Um, so this is uh, the military base. Um, I'm not. I hadn't really been looking around and figuring out what the, the storyline is and what these guys are saying why I'm like playing the game, but um, it's kind of hard. The, the game uh, the game moves pretty fast, so uh, it's kind of hard to kind of read that stuff. So I'm hoping there will be um, like a dub with the game. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, I'm actually doing really bad. Let me try to get better. I have a little bit of practice. But this game definitely has a learning curve to it. Um, it kind of reminds me of Mega Man, uh, crossed with the recent Strider game that came out. Uh, really reminds me of Strider. Uh, the other thing is, I'm not really familiar on how you heal. I think as you uh, absorb these enemies, some of them do give you health drops. Or buffs or whatever, but um, not too sure. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, the other thing I found out is you can dash downward. That's kind of cool. You can dash like left and right. 
left, right, down. I wish you could dash up. Um, as you'll you'll see later when I fight the boss, dashing up would uh really come in handy. Whoa. Being a little impatient. Um, I'm interested in seeing what uh, other Mega Man uh, fans have to say about the game. Uh, only because the style of game is uh, much faster than your traditional Mega Man. Um, I want to say even faster than the Zero series. Uh, in terms of like the mobility of the character and stuff like that. Um, there's kind of a lot going on. So now we kind of have like a, a little mini boss room. Really reminds me of Strider with stuff like this. But you know, I guess this is also Mega Man too. Okay, clear this room. Ah, you get my butt kick. Ah! <laughs> oh no! I almost died! Oh my god, I died! <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's keep going. I got a little carried away. I got a little dash happy. So, like what I was saying, I was wondering um, how uh, fans of the traditional Mega Man are going to like this game, only because it's much faster. Uh, I mean, it's still a Mega Man game at its core, but it is very different. Um, the differences between this... Oh crap, I did it again! <laughs> I'm sorry guys for yelling at my... Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, the differences between this game kind of for like uh you want to oh shit <laughs> see um yeah you can get a little carried away if you're not you know being careful with how you dash like uh but anyway the differences between this and uh like maybe like between this and Mega Man kind of remind me of like the difference between like a classic Mario game and a classic Sonic the Hedgehog game like, they're both platforming games but they're completely different in pacing um so yeah I mean like I don't know I like it I really like fast paced games so um, this game has kind of won me over already my only issue though is um the game does need a little bit more polish in terms of looks and control and uh I feel like you should have more mobility options I mean you can dash down you can dash left and right. I feel like you should be able to dash in any direction. It'd be really awesome actually if you had an 8 me dash. That'd be like freaking crazy. Like you can dash diagonally. Up and down and backwards. Um, because I mean that's the whole point. He's like dashing through enemies when he's weakened. So um, yeah I feel like you should have more mobility options in that sense. But uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens with this game. So uh, right now it's really fun. Very, very fun. Um, although, if you watched my Twitch stream, I was kind of raging. Uh, I'm much better in... Oh, shit, I missed it. There's, um, like, some little item up there or whatever. But anyway, um... When I was playing on my Twitch stream, I wasn't nearly as good as I'm playing now, so I had a little practice. Um, the other thing is, unlike in the Mega Man X games, uh, and Mega Man Zero series, uh, Beck can't wall jump. Or even in, um, Azure Striker Gunvolt, um, you could, like, jump off walls. You can't do that here. Um, uh, kind of disappointed about that. Um, now he can climb up the side of, like, boxes and stuff, but, I mean, like, I don't know. I, I think I like the wall jumping better. Um... Yeah, I, I, I know I really like it. And there's some kind of glitches here, like, I'm just running, and if I try to jump, somehow he's getting stuck under 
this second box right here. And, I mean, like, I don't know. It's a better. So, I mean, like, what do you expect? It's not perfect. But, uh, it's, the, it's like, you know what you can kind of get from this game? You can get the, the idea of, um, uh, what they're trying to go for in terms of, like, uh, the pace of the game, the style of the game, how you're going to be doing stuff. And, uh, so far, I love it. Like, the idea and everything is freaking phenomenal. And, I mean, like, it's nice to have somebody working on, uh, you know, kind of Mega Man style game. Because we're not getting games like that anymore. <laughs> not really. So, uh, anyway, in that regard, uh, I'm really excited. All these guys, fight them. I oh so uh, in terms of like uh, things that I want better or changed in like the final version is um, hoping like I was saying I hope you could dash in other directions. It'd be awesome if you could dash in eight directions. Um, it'd be nice if you could like do a wall cling kind of thing or. Maybe just mount yourself to walls or something, like stick to them, so you can dash off of them. Um, or, you know, maybe you can't climb on the walls like in Mega Man X, but you can, like, bounce off of them, like, one time or something, you know? Um, so that's one thing. Um, what else? Um, I'm assuming he's going to get more weapons and stuff. I mean, like, I guess he doesn't necessarily need a charge shot or something like that. It seems like most of his weapon should pierce through the enemy. Um, and his normal shot pretty much does that. So, um, I don't know. There's some things here and there. I'll, I'll kind of go into it in a second. So this is a boss. Uh, so this is number five. He's some kind of, like, I don't know, uh, walking arsenal or something. Um, but we're gonna kick his ass. I had, um, <laughs> like 20 minutes of practice with this guy on the stream, so I'm thinking I'll do pretty good. I don't want to underestimate him, because he beat me a lot in the past. And I'm doing badly right now. So, yeah, that's basically what you want to do. You want to hit him, and then, uh... Dash at him when he changes colors. Okay, so now he's gonna do like a special attack basically. He sets a basically a bomb he can detonate like at any time. So it's kind of annoying. As we fight. Get like, you know, later into the fight. Because he tries to trick you, and then he starts controlling so much horizontal space, it's like retarded. So he hasn't done it yet. I might actually beat him before he uses it. I got him. So he was getting ready to use it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of tough. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as uh, the better goes... Um, like I was saying, um, there's going to be more levels in the future, um, leading up until um, the you know the final release. I'm actually going to go through it one more time, just to show you guys a little bit, and maybe I can do a little bit better. I mean, won't die, so let's go for it. And it's like so short, you know. Once you get the hang of it, might as well keep going. So, I can imagine this game is going to have like some really crazy speed runs and stuff once people get good. Like, it's really fast paced. I love it. Up. Uh, and uh, the unfortunate thing is some enemies you're going to have to hit more than once. Um, some enemies you can hit once. And it makes things really nice, because <laughs> you can dash into them, like, instantly. And you can kind of, like, spam and stuff. Ah. Oh, crap! <laughs> Got too carried away. So, yeah, that's something that happens in this game. You can get a little carried away.
Ah, doing it again. Careful, I'm gonna die again. Yay, health. I'll take it. Oh crap, I didn't realize the guy was here. Okay, I'm just barely hanging on here. I thought I was gonna get past him. Yeah, I'm not doing as better, uh, as good as I thought. I gotta be careful. Yeah. So it'd be nice if you had like, uh, maybe like a charge shot specifically to go through like multi-hit items and stuff like that or um I'm assuming he's probably not going to get like a charge shot he'll probably have just like a different uh gun or weapon he can use uh so let's not miss the item that's coming up there's an item That was one of them. I don't know how many there are. Oh crap. I wasn't paying attention. So I mean like yeah, this game can be difficult if you're not paying attention. Or you're trying to move too quickly. I, it feels like that's actually when the game... It feels like I'm making the game more difficult by the way I'm playing. You know, like, I'm trying to move too quickly or something, you know? Uh, I wish you could uh, blow up, like incoming like oh, enemy attacks and stuff now hope that there would be like some kind of item that uh, makes her dash last longer or something it seems like maybe timing my dash makes it last a little bit better I don't know Damn it. Oh, I guess I can't go up that way. But anyway, boss time again.
Okay, let's do it. Let's fight him better than last time, hopefully. I don't know if I sat through this last time. I mean, I know you can skip it, but maybe I'll just kind of let you look at everything he's saying. I don't know. <laughs> I just noticed it looks like I can kind of cancel my shot by jumping. I don't... Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm crazy. Oh crap. Not doing much better. Oh crap. It might be impressive if I still win in this situation it's so bad. Oh crap, here it comes. Damn it. <laughs> he got me. Actually, I think I won the first time. So I'm actually doing worse the second playthrough. Alright, let's go for it. Crap, don't die. Damn it, you got me again. That second shot is harder because uh he kind of sprays. The first shot is easy because I mean it goes in a straight line. I feel like this feels like a fighting game. <laughs> uh, I jumped. He's gonna jump over me. I can't see anything. Okay. I wish I could just like cancel him and fight him again. I mean, he's a fun, he's fun to fight. Now I kind of, uh, I'm getting used to his playstyle. But uh, yeah, so that's super mighty. Wait, what well, super mighty number? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm thinking of oh god. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's this is uh, mighty number nine. That's the name of this game. <laughs> anyway, I hope to bring some more. I'm um, looking really for. I'm really looking forward to more from this game and uh, KG and Afune and uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, that's all for now. Kokutan Luigi signing out. <laughs>